Lu Vo Man Yong who is a hard man to reach. He doesn't have an agent. He doesn't do social media or email. His address is not his own. He doesn't even own a phone. It's the way he likes it now. The way it has to be. To find Man Yong takes a speculative call to a distant contact. He passes on another number, who, in turn, forwards on a text message. Then, a day or two later, an unknown number of hums in reply. As the connection is made, Man Yonga's familiar grin spreads across the screen. Sitting in a plain bedroom, Man Yonga runs a hand across his head. It used to be shaved to a shine. I've grown some hair now. He laughs as he examines his new close crop in the corner of the borrowed phone. More than just his hairstyle has changed for Man Yonga though. Back in 2017, he was doing another BBC Sport interview. High among the London Stadium's girders and rafters, sat between Denise Lewis and Michael Johnson, Man Yonga told a primetime audience of his redemption. He had been an addict, hooked on tick. It is a form of crystal meth, that has seeped through South Africa's townships. Cut with other substances, it is sold in straws, before being heated, often in a stolen car headlight bulb, and smoked. Man Yonga had escaped the street corner deals and hazy squats though. His life was long jump now, he said. The previous evening, his long limbs had levered him through the night sky and landed world gold. He celebrated by falling back into the pit and flapping his limbs, leaving the imprint of an angel and an impression on the globe. I was a kid, I went through that, and I overcame it, he told presenter Gabby Logan back then of his substance abuse.